in London we have a unique situation where the mayor is the occupant of the mayor's office for policing and crime in MOPAC. And the mayor has delegated his authority to me as deputy mayor for policing and crime, and that's in the statute, the, the legislation that's bringing in police and crime commissioners. So I'm a statutory deputy mayor that's taking on the day-to-day -day role of a police and crime commissioner in London, with the exception of a few functions that, that, that I don't have. But essentially, um, what it means for me is that we now think about the criminal justice system, not just policing, and how we can make sure that our big city, the engine of the economy, gets safer and more safe than it's ever been before. I think neighbourhoods are absolutely essential. We're to recognise that London is an incredibly diverse city and we have concentrations of deprivation, we have areas that are high crime generators. We have to do something about that if we want to cut crime. And we're asking the police in London to cut the seven high impact, high volume crimes by 20%. That's going to be a third of a million less offences. I mean, they talked in the, in the fringe event about one place where there's 80,000 offences a year. We're looking to cut that massively in just four years. And to do that, we've got to do things in neighbourhoods where serious youth violence is an issue, but also to tackle things like economic crime. And that does mean you have to have a local approach, recognising that the neighbourhoods across London are very different and we understand that and I understand that as someone who's been a local politician elected 16 and a half years ago stopped and stepped down in May to do this job I understand that, that you know London is, is very different and we do require that very local approach in London um, a discovery that nearly 5,000 police officers are not doing the, the things that only police officers can do they're stuck in the back office and in the middle office and the Commissioner quite rightly is ensuring that 2,000 of those in the first instance are moving into neighbourhoods. Sure, we have more police policing, uh, keeping people safe. You know, we understand visibility uh, and availability of, of police officers is very, very important, particularly in those high volume neighbourhoods.